Welcome back to the stage of history. Alright, sorry about that. Just had to get everything. Just had to get everything uh, set up very quick. Um, okay. All right. So who am I talking to? It's Jeff. Okay, Jeff. All right. So uh, okay, you know, I'm not not gonna feed you any lies. I'm an ex driver as well. Okay. 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 So, um, just we're reaching out to previous drivers and drivers that put in applications and are pre are approved. Um. I don't know if you're familiar with Celadon's new structure that they did. They did get, they did walk away from quality. They parted ties with them back in September, which was their leasing company and their trucks. Okay. And uh, they've increased drivers' pay twice already this year, and put a, a four thousand dollar sign-on bonus obtainable in the first year, and up to four weeks paid vacation, all obtainable within the first year. Okay, okay. So, uh, Miles, are you in the Cleveland market? Uh, yes, I am. You can get you home weekly or bi-weekly, whichever your preference. Pull and dry and refrigerated goods in the, in, out of the Cleveland market. Okay, that sounds uh, that sounds pretty good so far. How much experience drive time so I would be able to look at the uh, cents per mile? Well, I'd say about three years of experience right about now. What are you, uh, can I ask? So I don't insult you. How much are you making a mile right now? I I really don't want to. I really don't want to no. put that. I really don't want to okay. put that out there. But okay. I I I'm I'm doing uh I'm doing pretty good. Thank you. Are you, are you doing more than forty two cents? Yeah yeah I'm yeah I'm doing more than forty two cents. Yes. Okay, if you were to add the if you were to add the um, sign on and the vacation package, are you doing better than forty or fifty cents? Uh, well, you know what where I'm at right now, they uh, that's what I'm making right now is not including the uh, bonus. Finding out how much I would just get paid straight pay without without okay. the, without the bonuses and all that other stuff. Right. You know what but, I'm saying? You have hazmat? Uh, no, no hazmat. Okay, that's not a problem. We don't need it. But uh, if you had, you said thirty, you had three years verifiable. Yes. Um, you're looking at about forty-two cents a mile without any bonuses or anything. But you're averaging about twenty-five hundred to three thousand miles a week. So we do have the miles. All right. So the the miles. So I would average about twenty-five hundred miles a week. Correct. Okay. And that's and that's that's based on me going home every week, right? Right. Okay. So what's the uh, what's what's the what's the lanes I'll be running if uh, if I'll be going home every week? So I'm assuming um, this is like what regional? I'll be running a regional route, and if so, what's the region? The region would be. Let me pull up some some opportunities. I'm new over here. Okay. So. Um, get you, I know it's going to be Ohio, Indiana, Iowa, Illinois, Southern Michigan, um, a little bit of Northern Kentucky, that's the Midwest region. Okay. And then, um, they also have a, and that would, that would be, um, Illinois, Indiana, Ohio, but the, the operating areas, Indiana, Ohio, Kentucky, Illinois, Michigan, and a little bit of Southern Wisconsin, I should say. 90% of it's drop and hook, it's dry freight, and uh, they get you on weekends. Okay, what about, you guys got anything uh, dedicated? Or that's just a, or is that just a regional for, uh, for my... Well, um, they do have, they, they do have a de dedicated, they have a dedicated reefer, um, but they also have a dedicated, what they call magnet tank. It's pulling uh, a lot of tobacco. Okay. And that, but that is, uh, let me see. Ohio, you got an Ohio to North Carolina. Oh, that's Toledo. You got to live within Toledo. I'm just wanting to get you um, Midland, Southeast, Ohio Valley, Northeast, Great Lakes, Midwest is where the operating area. 
No, no, uh, nothing past Maryland, that, no, no New York City or anything like that. Okay. Oh. Jersey would be included. That's out, that's out 10 to 14 days. Let me see, dedicated reefer, dedicated weekly, let's see. Yeah, the only thing I have dedicated would be a reefer. Mm. Doing the dedicated, I would be, I would be home every day. You'd be home weekly. Oh, uh, oh! Even with the dedicated, I'll still be on weekly. Yes, yes, yes sir. I don't have anything in Cleveland to get you home daily. Indy, I would, but Cleveland, I don't. Okay. There's a couple places that would, but out of Cleveland, and and, and I'm a I'm a big Bucks fan because I'm from Columbus. Um, nothing that nothing in the state of Ohio can get you home daily. Okay. Except so, but I will be home weekly. Would you mind if I transferred you over to a, a recruiter that has more information and would be able to share some better with you, well, Sean? Sure, you can do that. All right, let me put you on hold real briefly, and I'll send, I'll get you over to somebody. That way, they can express the get the legs and the miles and the pay and all that a little bit better. Okay. Okay. All right, just one second, my friend. Have a blessed day. You thank too. You. Now, thank you. Okay, Vicky, how you doing? Uh, I was, I'm good, honey. I was just transferred from uh, from one of you from one of your recruiter guys. I guess he's mm -hmm. like, I guess he's just a cold call type of guy. Yeah. Are you a rehire, honey? Uh, no, I'm not. No, I'm not. This, oh, okay. Uh, okay. This is uh, this is brand new, and he just called me up okay. to see if I'm interested in. Uh, See if I'm interested in the company, and he decided that uh, okay. you might be the person to talk to. All right, and he said you're looking to get home every week. Uh, well, I'm I'm interested in knowing what what type of lanes that you guys have available. Uh, okay. What what, lane, what what uh what routes and what lanes do you guys have available? Okay, and where do you live, honey? I stay in the Ohio area, Cleveland. Oh, please. I'm sorry. Yes. I have a Route 716, see, Cleveland, Ohio. All right, here we go. I have one out of Cleveland, but uh, within a 30-mile radius of Cleveland. Um, it goes from East Liberty, Ohio to Salon, Ohio to East Liberty, Ohio, Monday through Friday. And it pays uh, one ninety five eighty six a day, which is nine seventy nine thirty a week, right at a thousand dollars a week, um, and that one puts you home um, daily. Uh, so that uh, one right there get me home daily. Uh huh. Does that include? Does that include stop pay and everything? Is that one? Is that one flat rate for? Yes. Yes, that's that's all included in it in the one ninety five eighty six a day. You just, you go from East Liberty, Ohio to Salon, Ohio back to East Liberty. So that's a little after taxes. We looking yeah, at how much? We, um, we looking at many, we looking at maybe what a little bit under eight hundred. I don't know about eight fifty. How many? Well, how many deductions? How many do you have? What as far as what? How, what? How many people do you have to hold it as a deduction? I mean, on your. Taxes. How many from your family? Uh, just me. Just, okay, it would be about eight twenty-five a week. Take home. Okay, okay. So, what other what what other opportunities do you guys have available? Um, oh, he like, did mention that you guys have. Uh, he did mention that you guys have uh, regions uh, available as well as um, as over the road, right? Yeah, and I'm looking to see if I have any openings i have a virginia homestead regional the only thing is with it you're still you're out about 10 days 10 to 14 days normally 10. with um, uh with two days home yes sir now we do have a um our vacation package gives you a one week's paid vacation every thirty thousand miles so you're still going to get three to four weeks of paid vacation a year, and you the operating area is from you lo, you'll pick up out of Virginia or North Carolina, going to Indiana, Ohio, Illinois, Michigan, Georgia, South Carolina, Tennessee, Kentucky, and Pennsylvania. So you're just you're in that good area there, and you, with you living in Cleveland, you could get through the house. Do you know what I'm saying? Um, even if it's for your ten off or your thirty four off or what have you. 
right. So I got a question about uh, I got a question about a uh, PA. I'm glad you mentioned that. Is there any mm -hmm. force dispatches um, to New York and or California? He would not go to California. Period. Um, if he ran the over the road, you very possibly could get into New York. Um, but it, we have a it's a it's a soft force dispatch. When you come into Celadon, you meet your driver manager and everything. You let them know where you absolutely do not like to run. Okay. And they will keep you out of those areas. Okay. That's that's, that's not so. So is that is that promising that they won't keep me out of New York if I don't want to run? Say for example, if I tell them no, I don't want to run, but then he'll he'll call me back and throw something in my face like you gotta run it. If so. If not, I, I would get a reprimand for it. I don't know that has ever happened. That's something I will find out for you. I appreciate that. Thank but that's you. not that's not something that's not something that has ever happened. But I'll find out. Okay. Okay. Um, right. Now, if you were interested in, like, for example, this region I was just telling you about, um, you wouldn't go up there because that's not where you run. Okay. Um, so other than uh, other than driving, he did mention that you guys run reefer as well. Uh, does I reefer, do. I, does reefer pay more than drive-in, or is it all set? Uh, all set well, in one. It, no, it, reefer does pay three cents a mile more. There are times of the year when reefer freight is slower than van freight, and so they may put you on a drive-in once in a while. You know, to send you somewhere other than. With just a with just a reefer, in order to keep you moving. Okay, so you said it's three cents more. So he said that the starting CPM is forty two cents. So if I run, if I run reefer, how much over the experience do you have? I have three years. Okay, so with yeah, it'd be forty two cents with the reefer, be forty five, honey. All right, so the reefer would be forty five, and then everything else would be forty two. On the, if you pull a drive in, it would be forty two. For driver comfort. What uh? What kind of equipment do you guys offer? Well, we all they all the trucks have um, APUs. They have refrigerators. They have the double bunk. As far as is, is, is that what you're talking about, or yeah, uh, yeah, oh, okay. double bunks. Okay. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. What type of what type of trucks you guys offer? They most of our trucks are the um, International Pro Stars. They are not the Max Force. They are the Cummins. Um, we do have some Freightliner Cascadia. Um, those two are what we have the most of. Once in a while, you might find one that is available at KW or a Volvo, but for the most part, it is the International Pro Stars and Freightliner Cascadia. Are they, most of them are 10 speeds. Okay, do you, guys, do you guys have automatics? We do. If automatic is requested, is it possible that I can get into an automatic when I come there? It, it, it is possible. We don't have near as many of them. The people that have an automatic restriction, of course, we have to give them one. Right. Um, so there could or could not, may not be. Um, a lot of times if I request it a week or two before someone's coming in, then I have a better chance of getting one. Okay. What uh, what benefit package do you guys offer? We have, well, honey, we have um, with our health insurance. That is through, <clears throat> excuse me, that is through Blue Cross, and that is available after 60 days. And also we have, besides the medical insurance, we also have the dental and the eye. Um, I just really give you a, a, an exact amount because it depends on, number one, how many dependents you have, and number two, there are four different tiers uh, as to what you want as far as the deductible or if you want more for the prescriptions and not as much for, you know, the, the medical or the doctor visits and things like that. So, uh, but it is, it, it is good insurance, and it is fairly reasonable. We also have... Here in Indianapolis at the home term, <clears throat> at the main terminal, we have a medical facility here. Um, and if you are on medications or what have you, um, you can get those for free through here, through the med center here. Okay, okay. What do you guys look for as far as uh, pre-employment screening? Well, we do, um, we run all the reports, run your MVRs, 
check to see if you have you ever have you ever failed a drug screen? Have I failed a drug screen? Ever? Or have you refused to take one or anything no, like that? No. No. So, do you guys test for hair follicles? Hang on, just a minute. Let me find that out. I've not been asked that, honey. I know we do the urine. Let me find out. So, you guys know that I have like an extensive questionnaire that I usually ask them. Unfortunately, I'm going off the top of my head right now because I don't have my question. No, honey, we don't. Okay, 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 cool, cool. Next question, what's your, now I'm not a felon, but I'm just uh -huh. asking, what's your guys, pol what's your guys policies on felon? Now, number one, uh, I, I hate that word. I'm not a felon or I am a felon. That's not, you may have a felony or not have a felony, but don't mean you're a felon. <laughs> Okay. But it depends it's on what it is and when it is. So what's that's not that's not something we're going to hold against you. You know, it just just depends. So you you so what you're saying is is like on a case by case basis or something like yeah. that. Uh huh. Yep. Okay. What what is the average what is the average miles that I can get uh, per week? Well, it depends on what you're on if you're running just over the road or if it's a you know if you're just like with this. Um, Virginia Homestead region I was telling you about. Mm -hmm. uh, it's between it's between twenty three and twenty five hundred miles a week. Um, if it was it, if it's any kind of a, a regional, it just depends on what it is. Uh, if it's over the road, they're averaging between twenty eight and thirty one hundred miles a week. Okay. That depends on on you because the miles are there. I won't have no problems. I won't have no problems of sitting per se. I, I won't be sitting. No. I'll be running. No. All right. Speaking of speaking of sitting, what's the uh, what's the detention pay and the uh, layover? Well, no. First, what's the detention pay? Detention pay is fifteen dollars an hour. Okay, so you guys do offer that. What is the uh, yep. how often is layover and what's the layover pay on that? Well, the layover pay <clears throat> is uh, you would get uh, like one hundred and fifty dollars, but it depends. I mean, the only that's the only time. Which is great while you may have a layover, like if weather made you late for a pickup or a delivery or whatever, and they held you over. But um, once in a while, and like if you had a major truck problem or you know something to that effect, but we don't have very many layovers. Okay. Well, here's here's a, here's a good question per, uh, pertaining to layover. Right. So I okay. am I'm under a load. Okay. So mm -hmm. let's say I'm under a load. And the load, let's say the load, I pick up the load and I can get the load there maybe the next day, either the same day or the next day, but I am unable to drop it until the actual appointment date. So if my fleet manager you know. can't, if my fleet manager can't get me to, you know, drop somewhere at a yard or something like that to keep rolling and I had to end up mm -hmm. holding on to that load do I get the layover pay for staying under that load until I, I just, until I uh, I just I just went through this with someone just this past week mm -hmm. um, and they were actually under they were doing FedEx mm -hmm. and we they were to be there like it was a team though and say they were to be there in three days. They got there in two days. Right. And they would want to go ahead and drop it um, and could not. Right. Um, and so the, uh, the, to the, to answer your question, I think it is no. Okay. Because they were, they were running over hours. <laughs> Yeah. So, if it's, um, it, they shouldn't, have, it was a three-day run, so it should have been three days. It kind of, now, kind of sucks. Now, if it's, if, <laughs> well, if it's not that, I mean, if you're running and your hours are right and things like that, number one, if you see that you're going to get there, now, this is, this is the other thing, the other side of this. If you see that you're going to be there earlier or if they schedule you to drop, say, on Wednesday, you pick up Monday, and it is only a, say, a 24-hour run or something, um, or even a 36-hour run or something, all you have to say, hey, can I drop this early? 
mm-hmm. because number one, <clears throat> they want to keep you running because it's making you money and us money. Mm-hmm. And they aren't going to leave you just sitting someplace just to be mean to you. <laughs> so if they can, they will. And they will work with you. You will see that. Celadon has changed a lot. Um, okay. And they have become a very driver-first company. So I just wanted to jump on right quick on the part where the young lady mentioned about uh, Celadon. And uh, they're refocusing on their trucking company. And I came across this article right here that says trucking giant Celadon is is in retreat, canceling its 28 million headquarters in Mount Comfort, selling off its flatbed unit and outsourcing its driver school so that it could refocus on its core business just as the industry is expected to boom. Now, Celadon used to have a truck driving school. They was a company sponsored truck driving school, but I guess because of all the negative stuff that happened with the company and all the backlash that went on with the company, they decide to reorganize and restructure the company, which is probably a good thing. As I scroll down, as I scroll down, it says a uh, trucking company. Um, one of one of Celadon's focus areas in recent years was leasing trucks to independent owner operators, many of which whom freshly minted graduates of Celad- Celadon's driver school. The school was supposed to reduce driver turnover, a constant instant industry challenge i don't understand why they keep saying that there's a driver shortage i mean i mentioned that before but you know but i just want to go over this with you guys right quick yeah a lot of a lot of these a lot of these companies out here aren't aren't very driver friendly hey hey we didn't either we weren't either for a while uh, they started out being, when um, the gentleman started this company, that's what it was. Um, they got away from that. Well, now the gentleman that started this company has passed on, but his son has taken over okay. now. And things are so, so much better. And like I said, very driver friendly, very driver first. Okay. And that's the way every trucking company should be. Okay. Yeah, very good. Um, back to the uh, equipment. Um Mm-hmm. Do you guys have uh, Do you guys have drive cams inside the cabs? No. Okay. We do not. Do you guys reimburse for uh, tolls and scales? We do. Oh yeah. Okay. Yep. Now, if you are, if it's on your route, if you're going a different way, um, then you need to talk to your driver manager to make sure that that is on there for you to be able to get reimbursed. Okay. Uh, what type of what type of driver management system you guys have in the truck? Is it Qualcomm or Qualcomm? Yes, Qualcomm. sir. Per diem, is it offered and is it mandatory? It's offered and it is not mandatory. And it's entirely up to you, honey. All right. Okay. That's your money. <laughs> you say that's my money, huh? What would be the what would be the number one reason uh, for a driver to drive for Celadon? Number the number one reason is because we have become a driver friendly, driver first company. Uh, one of the one of the other top reasons is number one, we do have the that great vacation pack that I was just telling you about, where you receive a one week paid vacation every thirty thousand miles, which gives you a three or four week paid vacation a year of a thousand dollars. We also have the four thousand dollar sign on bonus, where you receive a thousand dollars every twenty five thousand miles that you run for the first hundred thousand miles. Um, and we also have a transition pay of $500 that comes on your very first paycheck for coming over to Celadon. And then, of course, our consistent miles. <laughs> so, and your home time. So, you know, those are the, those are the top things. And, and the reason why I say those is because, number one, I'm an old woman. Number two, I've been in this business for over 40 years. Number three, my husband drove for over 40 years. So I always, my husband has passed on now, but I always look for a company 
that I think is a driver friendly company because that's important to me. So, and I think that should be important to every company because every driver is, I don't care who you are. I don't care if you're single. I don't care if you're married. I don't care what you are. You still need and want home time too. Right. And you still need to make a living just because you chose this for profession doesn't mean you want to live in that truck constantly. (laughs) Some guys, some of those things are kind of important. Some guys like some guys just like to run too. I mean, you know, you got those you and got those true. run hard guys also. You know, that's such right. as you know, but myself. they also need to get out of that truck once in a while. Yeah, but yeah, we we do need to get out and uh, experience yeah. uh, experience what's going on around us. Um, mm-hmm. So, Celadon, if I was to if I was interested in uh, coming on with Celadon. And let's say it doesn't work out for me. What would be the policy for me to return the truck? Are you talking about at least purchase or company truck? Let's well, say either one. Let's say as long as you brought say, it back to let, any one say, of our yards. Oh, uh, okay. Our terminals. Okay. I'm glad you brought up lease purchase. How how's the uh, what's the lease purchase program like? What's the uh, well, well the lease well the lease purchase program that we are it is strictly through Celadoc. We don't go through a leasing company or anything like that. We used to use quality leasing, and that just got ridiculous. We got completely away from them. Um, but we have some 2014 models, and those are 325 a week. We have some 15 models, and those are 350 a week. We have some 16 models, and those are 400 a week. Okay. And you sign a year's lease with them, and you can you have the option to pay it off after the first year if you want to. Or you sign a second year's lease, you just have the same option, or the third year. Now, with the 16 models, those go four years. The 14 and 15 models go three years. All right. Is there a walk away? There is. There is. It's a no money down walk away lease. Again, as long as you bring it back to one of our yards or terminals or an authorized place. You just walk away from it, and there's nothing venture, nothing gained. All right. So let me ask you this question. Being that... uh. Being that I'm that I'm leasing through Celadon for the truck, and let's mm-hmm. just say me and Celadon don't get along with each other, can I take the truck to another company if I want to? If I'm still paying through you guys? That's the thing, honey. You cannot. Okay. Because then we have no control over it. You could tear it up. It could be somewhere. We never find it. You know that type thing. Okay. So they 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 kind of got away from that. What's the uh, what's the uh, rates for lease purchase? I mean, what's the as far as um, as far as cent per mile? The total cost? No, 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 cent per mile. Oh, I'm sorry. It is actually it's on a um, sliding pay scale, and it's anywhere from well, the the lowest is a dollar two plus twenty eight cent fuel surcharge. So the lowest is a dollar thirty a mile, and the highest is two forty five a mile. But that's plus the twenty eight. But that is for like. 25 miles or less. So your average is going to be somewhere around that dollar thirty-eight to dollar forty a mile because it's going to be somewhere between seven and eight hundred mile runs. Okay. Um, for for example, if you ran say 2,800 miles a week, mm-hmm. you're going to gross 38.50 a week after your truck payment, your fuel, your base plates, all your insurances, and we do do a maintenance escrow. Mm-hmm. Uh, not an escrow, a maintenance fund, uh, up to $7,500. Um, after you take every single expense out, including your fuel, you would take home right around eighteen to eighteen fifty a week. Okay, okay. And that's a uh, and that's a uh, lease. That's uh, through that's the lease. That's on the lease. Um, as far as leasing goes, I will be in control of the freight that I will want to take. As far as that's exactly right. You are not under force dispatch. Okay. Because you are an owner operator. So let me ask you this. If if for some odd reason that let's say there is a particular freight that, that I don't want to take or I should refuse, would I be penalized in any no, way? Absolutely and, not. Okay. That is something that is different too. Absolutely not. Okay, because some you know, some Yep. Some dri- some dri- some driver managers, you know, found upon you know lease guys that yep. they don't yep. want to take yep. uh, take a certain freight because of whatever no. reason. No, and, and they they'll have come, and the then they'll come back and have do lease purchase. Yeah. 
okay. and that's all they do. So no, that is absolutely not. Yeah, I don't want them to come. Excuse my language, but I don't want them to come back to being the dick towards me. So that's right. <laughs> that's right. Okay. Uh, so I went over leasing. Uh, well, I guess uh, I guess that's about uh, about it as far as uh, when I'm when I'm interested in finding out about the company. Um, okay. I will keep this. Uh, I will keep this in mind. Um, I okay. Will, I will go Please back. Do. I will definitely go back. Uh, go back over this uh, whenever the time comes. Also, okay. also record the call so I can just go back and listen to you. Uh, <laughs> uh, That's what, fine. What's your name again? My name is Vicky. Vicky. Well, Vicky, thank yes. you very much for taking the time uh, to talking with me today, and I do appreciate it. Um, if I you do are, need, you're if, very welcome. If I do need to uh, come back and uh, fill out an application. What do I go to on uh, online as far as filling out the application? Well, num well number one, uh, you can go to drivesellagon.com, or you can call me and I can update it. Um, and I would be happy to send you an email as well with the lease purchase information and company information if you would prefer that. Okay. All right. Well, cool. Well, as of, as of right now, I really don't want nothing to happen because the company that I'm with, uh, the company that mm -hmm. I'm with, I don't want them to be bombarded with... Uh, sure. You know, with you know, with information and all like that, until until I'm actually ready to to uh, to make a move. But as far as right now, the company that I'm with is treating me very well. So good. Um, well, I'm glad. But this is this is very good information for other people to find out. And uh, and if uh, and if I if I know anybody that's interested, oh well, how about this? How about this? Uh, do you guys? I think I read somewhere that you guys have a have a truck sponsor school. We do not have a school anymore, honey. Oh, y'all don't have it anymore. Okay. Okay. No, sir. All right, but y'all did have it at one time, though. Yes, sir. We did. Uh, what was the reason why you guys let it go? Or well, because we weren't making enough money, and that's when we had made all the changes, and so they just everything that wasn't working, they changed. I got you. I got you. All right. All right. Well, like I said, thank you again. Thank you for uh, for You're your welcome, information, ma'am. And uh, and I would definitely uh, keep this in the uh, archive. I really do appreciate it. Good. Good. Thank you. Keep you, this in mind, honey. I will. Thank you. All right. Uh -huh. All right. Have a good day. You too, now. Mm, bye bye. Goodbye. Well, well, well. An unexpected lockout man makes the call. I didn't even get a chance to do my intro for this video because I didn't even think I was going to have a phone call. But yes, yes, that was Celadon. Now, as I was saying in the midst of the conversation, I have an extensive Q&A form that's on my computer. For some odd reason, it didn't show up. You know what I'm saying? So I had to... I had to go off the top of my head. I didn't want to turn around and say, oh, hey, thank you for calling, but let me call you back. And uh, let me call you back when I get my Q&A. While I got them right then and there, I just go off, the, go off the top of what questions that I may should ask versus the questions that I do have the extensive questions that I do have on my list. I will go back and look for that. Guys, that was Celadon. What do you think of the call? Do you think uh do you think Vicky answered uh answered the question? I think she did. I think she did pretty good. She was a truck driver's right. She pretty much understood the, the trials and tribulations what us truck drivers go through. That's the type of recruiter that you want to uh, that you want to talk to. You you want to talk to somebody that's that's have an understanding of the business. You know that that has an understanding of of what you may or may not be looking for as far as the company goes. Instead of one of those recruiters that want to be yes men and yes yes and all like this and i don't know what i'm talking about and i just want to hurry up and get you in the seat because i'm getting the percentage yada 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 i think a few questions that i did miss 
was the orientation how much uh, how long is orientation and if you get paid for orientation so I did miss that question so I'm I apologize to you guys for that if you guys have any questions for me to ask these recruiters definitely leave it in the comments below and I will implement that with the questions that I already have if you guys have any uh, anybody in mind that you guys want me to call and talk to leave that in the comments below and as always if you have any questions for me or want to get a holler at me you can get at me at lockoutmen at gmail.com IG at lockoutmen and as always leave the comments in the comments below hey what I want you guys to do for me, man, let's let's get this uh video up there, man. Let's get this video up in the strat. Let's get this video maybe 2,000 views or something like that. You know what I'm saying? Let's get a lot of people interested. I know a few of you guys in the past have asked me to call Celadon, but they called me today. Actually, it was a cold call, you know. The guy wasn't even a, he wasn't a recruiter. He was more of a cold call type of guy and and then he transferred me over to vicky the recruiter well all right guys well thank you very much for joining me i really do appreciate it uh don't forget to like subscribe and like i said before comment until next time till next video i am the one lockout man and i'll talk to you guys later peace